You're watching Otozumon and we visit Sea City. Welcome on Autour du Monde. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to like our videos. In this new episode of Autour du Monde in Europe, we are still in Sicily. We'll visit the Montreal Cathedral, the city of Corleone, the archaeological site of the Valley of the Temple in Agrigento, and the Villa of the Mosaic. And we'll finish the day in Catania. Day two of our trip in Sicily. We start the day with an excellent chocolate croissant and an espresso right in front of Teatro Politeama, one of the most beautiful buildings of Palermo. Uh, Moreale. We then heading off to Moreale to visit the Basilica of the same name. Welcome to Moreale, a small town south of Palermo who have the same name of the city of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, but has a smaller population of around 38,000 inhabitants. The town is well known for its cathedral, which is the seat of the Archdiocese of Montreal. Before visiting the interior of the Basilica, we took a stroll through the narrow streets of the old town. It's a magnificent way to have a nice view on Palermo but also to enjoy the charm of this little city of Sicily. And from an alley, you can even see the exterior of the Basilica. The Basilica of Moreale is one of the most beautiful monuments of Arab Norman architecture. At 102 meters long, 40 meters wide, and 35 meters high, it is a massive monument with a two-tower facade. Inside, the most striking feature is the magnificent gold mosaics, even more grandiose than those in the Palatine Chapel. Hello. The church was built between 1172 and 1176 at the request of William II, who ruled Sicily at the time. During your visit to this basilica dedicated to the Virgin Mary, you are invited to go up to the roof to admire the splendor of the building as well as the surrounding landscape. Here we are on the roof of the Cathedral Monreale near Palermo and you can see Palermo just behind me. Until its consecration in 1267 by Bishop of Albano, an envoy of Pope Clement IV, the basilica served as a royal burial crown. On our way out, we stop to contemplate once again the cathedral's marvelous mosaics. All that remains of the Benedictine monastery founded here is this cloister. It's one of the most beautiful in Europe. Take a look at the magnificent columns, all of which are unique. In fact, the cloister is made of 228 polychrome columns surmounted by capitals 
created by artists from France. By the way, the cathedral and the cloister are said to be the swan song of the Norman heart in Sicily. Frankly, if you go to Palermo or its surroundings, it's a must see of any visit. We then left Montreal for the inland town of Corleone, in the center of the island. <laughs> and again, thanks to Google Map for this unusual road. Janine, pour toi, on a acheté ça. Écoute, 50 piastres, il irait juste à la retaper. The distance between Montréal and Corleone is about 54 kilometers. For fans like us of the Godfather film trilogy, the town of Corleone or Corleone is a medical. However, none of the movies of the series were shoot here. Anyone who has seen uh, the TV series The Offer knows why. So there's nothing special to see here, apart from the fact that the town has been a Sicilian Mafia stronghold since the 19th century. If you're not a fan of The Godfather or a Mafia fan, don't stop in Corleone. We then hit the road again in direction of Agrigento, a journey of around 105 kilometers. The road surface is not always pretty, but for one hour and a half, you'll have the impression to be somewhere else and you will discover another facet of the island. At lunchtime, when we arrived in Agrigento, we had excellent arancini and pizza and wine at Mito's restaurant. A detour to Agrigento is a must on any trip to Sicily, as the town boasts a breathtaking archaeological site, also known as Valley of the Temple, or in Italian Valle di Templi, the site contains numerous relics of the island's Greek past. We preferred to devote our visit to the two main temples separated by a long pathway. The Temple of Concord is, along with the Ephaestion in Athens and the Temple of Poseidon in Paestum, one of the best preserved temples of Greek antiquity. So we are now in Agrigento in the Valley of the Temple. It's one of the nicest places in town and uh, you have to visit that site. In fact, it's the highlight of the tour. It is believed to have been built between 440 BC and 430 BC, meaning that it has been here for almost 2,500 years. As for its plan, it corresponds to the most classical form of Agrigento's temple, with a pronaos, an aos, an hospitodum, and a peristyle of six per 13 columns. 
After admiring this masterpiece of antiquity, we retrace our steps along the central pathway to the site's second best preserved temple, the Temple of Ira. Like the later, it is a Doric temple with 6 per 13 columns. A very fine way to end our visit to this site. A bit more driving for us today as we leave for Piazza Marina, some 100 kilometers east of Agrigento. This 1 hour 20 minutes journey takes us through the superb scenery of the art of Sicily. And a little travel anecdote. Jen somehow spilled some Coca Cola in her shoes. It makes us laugh a lot. Last stop of the day, the Roman Villa of Casale is an ancient villa, also known as the Villa of the Mosaics. People visiting Sicily often overlook this site because it's not that close to the main roads. But honestly, it is a site worth visiting for its rich Roman mosaics. The villa was built in the late 3rd century, occupied until 1160. It was then ravaged by a fire before disappearing under a landslide. Imagine that it was only rediscovered in 1812. Although part of the remains were visible, the area was then a farmland. In fact, it was a farmer who discovered the first pieces of mosaic and few columns. But it was only a century later, around 1929, that the site began to be excavated. The site boosts some 30 decorated rooms, covering a mosaic surface area of 3,500 meters square. These include epic hunting scenes, one of the finest examples of Roman high society villas. A visit we highly recommend. We ended the day with the final hour drive to Catania, the island's second largest city, and our home for the next two episodes. We took the opportunity to discover a bit of its nightlife and to check out another excellent local restaurant. By the way, if there's one thing to remember about Sicily, it's that the food is extremely amazing on the island. Uh... 
Pi. Ok. Molto bene. Thanks for watching that new episode of Auto du Monde in Europe. In our next episode, we'll still be in Sicily. We will visit the city of Catania, the city of Syracuse, and we will climb Mount Etna. <laughs>